day number nine of the 10 10 10 breakthrough smile challenge my friend and so again man we've been having the time i, I just want to congratulate you for you know most people they, they, they don't consistently do anything as a matter of fact my mom my, my, my wife my abcd adorable brown caramel delight she was saying baby that so many people they're just not consistent i said no baby everybody's consistent most people that are consistent at being inconsistent with the things that really matter. Oh, that's called a doctor breakthroughism, AKA writer downer. I said, everybody's consistent, but just most people are consistent with the things that don't matter. But if we can get people to be consistent at the things that do matter. And so the smile challenge, it may be, again, it's again, a smile is a little thing, but it can eventually make a big difference, right? It's kind of like a ripple, like a little drop in the water and it kind of, and so, and so I know that some people, like I said, there's some, 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 good people that I talked to that kind of poo-pooed the smile like ah that's kind of simple that's kind of whatever it's not worth my time okay fine no problem because by the way this is one of the things for those you in business I only look for those who are looking for me I only look for those who are looking for opportunity I only look for those that we can work together and so so you're here so congratulations to you and it's day number nine you made it this far I'm giving you a hand as a matter of fact remember we talk about what makes you smile well, I'm going to tell you about not for day number nine, but right now I'm going to tell you what makes me smile is people like you who are being consistent at something, my friend, that's going to make a difference. So I congratulate you. I, I applaud you. I, I give you your kudos. Again, day number nine of this 10, 10, 10 Breakthrough Smile Challenge. And again, our main thesis is when you strategically learn to smile on purpose, you'll have more purposes to smile. And uh, so anyway. As a matter of fact, my cousin, I couldn't believe it, she posted something today on Facebook. Let me see if I can find it real quick. And I was like, cuz, so but she, by the way, took the 10 second challenge where she got on camera, said, hey, I accept the 10 second challenge, smile for 10 seconds on camera, and then pointed to camera, said, now I challenge you to do the same. And then she put it on her social media, tagged at least 10 people. And so I'm sure that you've already done that. And if not, I'm sure you get it done by the day, right? Uh, but at any rate, let's see here if I can find that because it was so simple, but so good. And uh, and that is, now I can't, no, I'm not going to say it. No, 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 I'm going to find it. It's here somewhere. Here it is. Watch this. She said, smile at somebody today. Remember our RSG we talked about stands for random smile giver. Are you a random smile giver? Well, again, we're going to smile here in the next couple of minutes. But she said, smile at somebody today. For that may be the only sunshine that they see all day. Wow. Did you get that? <laughs> Smile at somebody today. It may be the only sunshine that they see all day. So here we go. Our 10-second smile challenge. Let's do it for 10 seconds. Are you ready? Again, whether you smile with your mouth closed, with your mouth open, and just have a little movement or whatever else, and let's make this thing happen. Okay? So you ready? We did it, 10 seconds. And you know every day my phone goes off at 10 o'clock a.m. and 10 p.m. and I smile on purpose so that I can have more purposes with which to smile. And uh, so anyway, all right, so today we're talking about, uh, again, because people are like, okay, so what are we smiling for, right? So every day we've been giving you different reasons you can smile, different things. Matter of fact, I posted on Facebook the other day, what makes you smile, List at least one to three things. And uh, so we're giving you 10. So today we're talking about smiling. I stopped, by the way, talking to my, uh, one of my sons yesterday, Josiah, and I was telling him, I said, yeah, I was going through my smile challenge and I told him uh, one of the days is we smiled over our children. I said, no, we have family one day, but, but specifically children. And uh, and I told him, I said, you know, and, and, you know, I appreciate you. I said, uh, you've never given me a day of trouble. You, matter of fact, I had all my children together one day and I said, man, growing up, y'all never gave me a day of trouble. He's like, dad, you're a 10th degree black belt. <laughs> I said, yeah, but I know other people, well-known people, 10th degree, black boss, their, their family still doesn't. But at any rate, I said, well, I'm grateful for whatever reason. But I told him, I said, man, but whenever I think about you, it brings a smile on my face. Matter of fact, when he was little, uh, he used to, we used to call him Smiley. Now, li listen to this carefully. He's calling him Smiley. And then a good friend of mine, Myron Golden, right, that I talked about yesterday about some friends, uh, they actually call him Uncle Myron because his children call me Uncle. But, you know, and, uh, but anyway, so Myron you know, and, and and this is where we're not even aware of stuff. So Myron jokingly said 
start calling him Smiley and like, hey, Josiah, you're Smiley, you know. And Josiah, now, this is so crazy about perception. And Josiah perceived this as being some adult that he respected, that he looked up to, of making fun of him smiling so much. And so he stopped smiling as much. Like we were talking about, he told me that story. I was like, are you serious? He said, Dad, yes. I'm like, isn't that amazing? We, we just never know. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep telling you the story. But remember on the first day, the lady that literally me smiling, and literally she was on her way to commit suicide, and she decided not to because of my smile. I gave her extra smile, and then she followed and listened to some of the words I said, right? But anyway, but I was thinking, that's amazing, though. So think about that. So we used to call him Smiley. And because somebody, again, that he respected, he, 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 he interpreted as... And see, that's the good thing about communication. It's not just what we're saying. It's how we're being perceived. <coughs> Excuse me. And so anyway, and so that made him not smile as much, right? So, but anyway, but I told him, I said, whenever I think about you and any children, it makes me smile. Today, we're going to talk about parents and grandparents. So when I think about my, so, so something that can make you smile. And again, I know in this crazy world that we live in, we've got some crazy parents and grandparents that do atrocious and crazy things. But if you're one of those ones that... You know, I grew up in a single parent home. My dad left when I it was th when I was three. Never came home. Never sent a dime. But, uh, but, but Mama stayed by the stuff. Mama stayed by the stuff. As a matter of fact, Mama had such a struggle that sometimes Mama would send us over to Grandma. Grandma would take care of us for a while. And uh, I never forget, um, you know, my grandmother. You know, she would take out a butcher knife, right? And she would. We were just little kids. She's like, y'all come over here. You know, she's like, I'm gonna cut that piece off the back of your head. You know, so me, and my, and so at the time it was my, my my brother Ronald, Alani, and I. So now it's, it's well, Keith is my older brother, and Sean's the youngest. But anyway, at that time it was me, Ronald, Alani, and, and like it's like we would take off. No, Grandma, don't, don't. But when I just think about my grandmother, I smile. When I, when I think about her calling us over to the bedside and said, I want to read you something from the Bible. And, and Ronald Lani would run. And I would just go over there and sit and listen to her. I don't know what she read. I don't, But I know that laid a foundation that later on when I heard the gospel, I received it. And I think that's the foundation. But I smile when I think about my praying grandmother. There have been times throughout life when stuff was hard and all of a sudden I felt some... I mean, have you ever been going through a time, a rough time, and all of a sudden just, just felt this release, this, this lift? And you're like, what is... It? And it's like... I was like, I bet my grandmother's praying for me, right? And then my grandmother passed, but then mom, you know, I was able to lead my mom uh, to, to Christ. And so, and again, I'm not a religious person, but, you know, I, I thank God I repented and received the goodness of God, the grace of God, and, and the gift of God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And, um, and so I was able to share that with my mom. And by the way, all my brothers, first they laughed at me, and uh, then and they saw my life transformed. And uh, anyway, but I just wanted to say, again, my mom. And so, as a matter of fact, Here's a picture I want you to see. Look at that smile on her face. <laughs> and by the way, I was in Bible college, and never forget. And I said, "Mom, I said, uh, can you go take a picture, uh, uh, get a new picture?" And she got this picture taken, and it looks like she's looking in heaven, right, and smiling. And guess what? Unfortunately, two months later, uh, suddenly she passed away. They never found a thing wrong. The, 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 the autopsy guy said, "I apologize. Never found a thing wrong." He said, "I only had two instances like this," and he said. Uh, but for some reason, her heart just took a wrong beat. I said, well, I know what happened. He said, what? So the Bible says, what is your life? And is even a vapor that appeared for a little time and vanished away. So when it's, when it's our time, good health, bad health, whatever, we're gone. But here's the thing. When, when I got to the, the house, I found my mom's Bible. Well, first of all, I was thankful that she took the picture. But in her Bible, it said this. Just an old sinner, saved by the grace of God, moved out for renovations and repair. In the midst of a tragic situation, that brought such a smile to my face. But also, I know that my mom's in heaven, and I preached her homegoing celebration. People say, you going to preach your mom's funeral? I said, no, it's not a funeral. It's a home, it's a, it's a, it's a homegoing celebration, a celebration of life. I said, if you knew my mom, she'd be like, boy, don't be up there crying. <laughs> you better tell them, look, I'm in a place right now. No more sickness, no more dying, no more death, none of that, right? And so anyway, but when I think about par parents and my grandparents, it, it gives me a smile. And even the fact that I did eventually find out my, my real dad and, and we connected. And, by, and I, when I graduated from college, he showed up my college graduation and attended a couple of places where I spoke, you know, before he passed away. So, so I, it brings a smile. And so the scripture, I got to close here. Job 5, 22, it says that destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Like, what? At destruction and famine, you're going to no, smile? You're going to laugh? 
Well, I read back Job 5.20. It says, in famine, he shall redeem thee. So I guess what Job was saying, listen, if you know that God's going to redeem you, then you can in advance, you can smile on purpose, you can laugh on purpose, knowing that it doesn't stay like this. See, remember I told you my acronym for STORM, S-T-O-R-M, something that only remains momentarily. Storms don't come the last, storms come the past. So listen, so again, the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. So listen, you know, you, you've been there, right? You have been delivered from some stuff, right? And maybe you are being delivered from stuff, but guess what? We will one day be delivered. So guess what? We can smile on purpose. So God bless you. That does it for today. Again, make it a great day on purpose and by design. And don't forget, RSG, be a random smile giver.